Hey, what's going on YouTube? Um, this is kind of really shiny light. Don't mind it. Um, it's the best light that I have in my house right now since it's about 10 o'clock at night. Okay, 9 o'clock at night. Um, but I wanted to kind of do an after reflection on um, the panel discussion that I was on. And I would like to say that it was amazing. Like, I... Almost got kind of, you know, I got all those warm feely, those warm fuzzy feelings inside, and, um, and I almost cried, but I didn't cry, so that's always good. And, you know, and it was really sad, you know, it was empowering, I guess, not really sad. Uh, in a way, it was sad, because I learned lots of stuff about a trans girl that is just a freshman in high school in my local community, in my town, in the city I live in. And how, just how she has been treated along kind of through the last year and stuff like that. She's just super early, obviously, in her, in her transition. But it's also empowering because of that love and support from her family that her mom came and spoke um, on this panel as well. And I learned a lot. And it just amazes me. Um... Just if it just amazes me on like how much they've gone through and how just hearing her story on how much she's gone through to be to be who she is and and she's such a happy person now it just amazes me and how like that love and support from like your family and your friends at such a young age at fourteen and not everyone gets that not everyone gets that chance to transition that young and it was just amazing to hear even her mother speak. I would have liked to have talked to her, um, but she wasn't there. And I've never actually met this person. But hopefully I'll be able to meet her soon. Um, I did request her mom on Facebook, so hopefully we stay in touch. It's just amazing. Like, her story's amazing. And I just want to meet her, you know, and, you know, everyone says they hate being a role model. And she's like a teenager. She just wants to be a teenager, you know. So definitely understandable. Um... And then it's also empowering for me because I get to talk about my side, like uh, such as being like, you know, female to male. And it's just amazing that in this community, there are a good number of trans people. They just don't like to talk about. They live very, very stealth, which is understandable and things like that. Um, and I'm glad that I can kind of you know, talk about my experience because, um, the trans 101 talk was from a trans woman and I've met her. She's awesome. She's super cool. She's not big into questions and stuff like that for being semi out. So I would say she's probably semi out and semi stealth in some occasions just really depends kind of the feeling I get from her just talking to her and hearing her talk tonight, um, where she's not open to a lot of questions. I am on the other hand, open to questions. So I was very inviting and, you know, if anyone had any questions, then, hey, I'll go ahead and answer. You know, the more education I think, I feel like the more education people get and the more understanding and the more open that, you know, we can or I can be, then it's a good way to educate, especially in a city of like 60,000 people in a rural area. Um, you know, it just really helps out. And I'm glad that I can be okay with being open about it. I'm glad that I, you know, will, you know, answer people's questions and, you know, take that time, um, and everything like that, because not a lot of people are, and I think, you know, for those that, you know, talk about it or want to talk about it outside of, like, their friends and their family, um, sets a good example and helps people grow as individuals on understanding, um, you know, what we go through as, as individuals, as well as kind of like our, the process that we have to go through. And, you know, it kind of makes me want to do it more. Like, you know, that's why I do like my YouTube channel. I know that's kind of, doesn't have a lot of topics, but I'm hoping to get more topics. I want to write down some topics and discuss them and things like that. So I do want to kind of give my perspective on things and... You know, because it's just another perspective, and the more perspectives you have, um, you know, from a bunch of different people, you know, the more...
the more understanding and accepting people can be because there's no longer, you know, a hidden, it's not, you know, there's no confusion, it's just very, just a good conversation, you know, are you always going to have people, you know, at the moment, you know, always in life that are going to hate? Yes, because that's what they're taught. They're taught that. And, you know, if I can, you know, take one of those people or, you know, those people that, you know, didn't stand up before or didn't really understand, you know, oh, they kind of get the gay and the lesbian and the bisexual thing, but they don't really get, you know, transgender um, situations that I can make them kind of understand, you know, and have like that open discussion or even go online and start looking up information to educate themselves, you know, then I feel, you know, I've done, I've done something good, you know, I've tried to help, you know, people grow as individuals and be more accepting and understanding of everybody that they can encounter in life because, you know, hey, we're in every profession, we're everywhere on the face of this planet, and the more, you know, we can educate people, you know, outside of, you know, a university or a college, a community college, outside of higher education, the better off for, for everyone it's going to be because, you know, not everyone has that higher education, not everyone has advanced degrees, you know, and in some of the research that I've done, you know, of my own, on, in my undergrad um, studies and just reading, you know, in my in my current master's degree um, studies I've had is, you know, knowledge is power. And, you know, a lot of people that have access to that power are those that, you know, have advanced degrees that go to college or even have some college, you know, they know how to look up information, you know, and stuff like that. But, you know, mainstream society, you know, the general public, you know, most of their education is like high school or less than high school if, you know, I mean, still the average for an American is sixth grade education level. It might be a little higher, you know, these days, but, you know, just a couple of years ago, it was a sixth grade education. So the more that we can get information out there via the Internet or even doing, you know, a, a discussion, you know, a panel discussion like I did tonight for an hour and a half, two hour, two and a half hours, that's something like that can impact people. You know, it people were very receptive. Nobody was derogatory. Nobody's rude. Nobody answered any crazy questions. Um, I figured somebody might ask me more questions about you know being um, female to male, but they didn't, which is fine. You know, maybe they'll see me on campus and be like, "Hey, you know, I saw you." Blah blah blah, blah. and maybe they'll strike up a conversation, or maybe it will just you know have them get curious and they'll go online themselves. I mean, or you know the next kind of individual that they're unsure about, they'll, you know, treat them differently. Or if they see, you know, somebody outside the gender norm, then, you know, maybe if they're getting picked on or something like that, maybe they'll say something, you know, that and that would mean something, you know, that's progress, in my opinion. And every little bit counts. Like, every little piece that we can get out there, you know, about our community, it's always better because then that way people can understand more, even even those within our own, like in the LGBTQI um, community, like even, you know, not all of them understand every, everything, you know, like we're just supposed to accept each other. And, you know, sometimes it doesn't always work out. So, I mean, if we can educate, you know, even people within our own communities and things like that and have people understand, like everyone is different, everyone has a different perspective, then we've done something right and... So, um, it was good to see somebody do like a trans 101. Um, I saw some things that I would have liked to have seen different. And so I was encouraged to do my own. I might do that. It could be super cool. Um, I ran into my therapist. I talked to, um, cause I see, I saw a counselor. Well, she's a psychologist on campus and she was there tonight to give her professional perspective and, it was amazing. Like, it was so awesome seeing her after almost nine months and just how much I look different, but I still look the same at the same time. And, you know, she told me I looked really good and, you know, I told her everything's going well, you know, and it was just awesome when we hugged and, you know, we went on our, on with the night. So, um, and that's kind of, kind of where I want to leave it at the moment. I might have more to reflect on tomorrow just cause I'm constrained cause I have to write a paper I will have to finish a paper, um, but I just really wanted to say it was a really good, positive thing, and, you know, even if you don't do it in a very public setting, you know, even if you do it in a small group of friends that don't really understand, and you really, you know, and, they, and they're asking questions, or they're willing to ask questions, or they're just, you know, kind of, kind of looking at you, kind of, you know, with confusion on their face, 
direct them towards the answers. You know, maybe they don't know what to ask. They just, you know, want to know so much. They don't know where to start. So, you know, if you have friends out there, I mean, give them the information that you looked at, you know, to kind of help you through this process and be understanding that, you know, they have to go through a process themselves. So there's going to be so many questions and so many mess ups on pronouns, especially if they knew you before. And, you know, you just got to, you know, sometimes be patient with people and understand it's just a process. Like we all have to go through a process. And, you know, the more maybe little settings that you do with, you know, people, it'll spread like wildfire. Like it literally will spread like wildfire. Like people will then be like, oh, I totally understand this. You know, let me, you know, explain this, you know, to maybe to other people in your group of friends that, you know, had questions and they just didn't know what to ask. And maybe they were just waiting for you to kind of speak up and you just aren't speaking up. I don't know. You know, and if you are open to, you know, doing something more public, I would encourage you to do it because, I mean, you're impacting strangers. You know, you are creating allies of our community, you know, not even just the transgender community, but, you know, the LGBTQI, you know, community, like we're all, you know, gender nonconforming people, essentially, you know, not everyone identifies like that, you know, but there's a little bit of a misfit in us, essentially. You know, even though, like, we're normal misfits. And why not create those people that understand and accept us and, you know, can educate people and stand up for us when we need allies on our side in particular cases. So that's kind of where I want to leave it. And I hope that everyone's having a good night. And um, later.